Hello there and welcome back my fellow DevOps engineers. So as you may know from this channel that I'm kind of fond of automation and anything related to Ansible and Python. And I recently I, I started searching for solutions uh, which uh, are similar to Ansible Tower or AWX which is the free version of Ansible Tower. And basically what I hold on okay we have some so what i have come up with is that i have found the run deck solution so in this video we are going to set up this uh, application and then in the next video we are going to see how we can use the ansible plugin for that so we have the run deck ansible and i think Think this is the one so this is the Batix plugin which allows you to uh, install the Rundeck instance on top of your existing Ansible instance and then reuse the inventory the playbooks and whatnot so basically this is what we are going to see in this video so in order to get started with this we have a CentOS 7 machine pretty much standard installation so I have already logged in to the machine and what we are going to do now is to install this one so we need to sudo and then we would like to yum install java-1.8.0 and if everything works properly we should be able to find it and then once we have this installed what we can do is to issue the following rpm command so we would like to download the rundeck latest rpm and then yum install rundeck d or just rundeck rundeck sorry <laughs> So basically, uh, this almost gets us to where we would like to be, but this is not done yet as far as the configuration is concerned. So now what we need to do is to yum install. Oh, we have already installed, <laughs> sorry. Um, <coughs> we need to modify some configuration files. So by default, we will have a run deck user created which is uh, responsible for running our web application and allowing us to tap into the resources of this solution so now we need to edit a file or rather two files so one of the files is under etsy run deck and here you will find many files which can be modified to find you your instance but we would like to change this one so i need to know the ip address of my centos a machine so 192 56 uh, 168 and here what i would like to do is to be able to refer to this instance from anywhere outside this box so this one this one and this one needs to be replaced and uh, we also need to edit the run deck config properties and here we need to modify the g rails line so this one and here we would also like to replace the localhost so now once uh, this is done we should be able to restart our Rundex service and uh, in order to demonstrate what happens and how you can troubleshoot it we would like to open another shell in CentOS and just simply tail the relevant logs so the logs uh, live under the war lib Rundex and here we are going to have a folder which is called logs and now if we issue the system ctl stop firewall d 
we can save ourselves uh, the configuration to allow the firewall to or allow us to access from outside the machine the HTTP port so now we need to restart the run deck D voila and we can check the status and now what we can do is to check for the war log run deck and uh, let's see the service log so it's not under the war lib but the war log and here we can see that uh, it is now currently running so we need to grab our let's say IP address so 192.168.56.2 and just simply open up our browser on the HTTP and 4440 port and now we can use the admin admin to log in and once this completes we are able to start and create a new project so let's do this demo project and this is for youtube we have a gist for this okay now when you create a project you can enable the cleaner execution history so in later videos we will see how the execution looks like but basically this will reduce the output to the more relevant parts so <coughs> we can disable execution and disable schedule this might come in handy in specific situations this part I, I wouldn't touch for a test environment and this the default node executor and the default file copier is kind of relevant because here we can select what we would like to use for executing commands or jobs and uh, we can uh, define we what we would like to use for executing file copies so now we will just simply leave these as they are oh and you cannot have a white space in the project name sorry for that so basically here what you can see on the left side is that we have the projects selector we have a dashboard which says that this is the project that we are on and we have zero execution in the last zero days so this is a fresh instance here we can configure jobs which is for a later video here we can see the nodes so under nodes if you click on the show all nodes you will only see the local host which is uh, basically where Rundeck is running and if you hover the mouse here or oh, not not okay that part comes when the ansible is going to be <laughs> done so under the commands what we can do is to select a specific node or if we don't select a specific node we can run the command on every node so let me bring it here so you can also see it so here we can specify command let's see who is the user which is going to execute this command so now as you can see hashtag one first job ever has completed and now we can check the output of this by clicking there here and now we can see the output is run deck and to be honest this was all i wanted to show you in the first part uh, later in time we will see how we can add ansible to this and then simply improve the ways that we can utilize this solution to automate our environments see you in the next one